It's 534. The Cajun Navy Foundation is a citizen-led disaster relief organization, and it's in the metro this morning helping cleaning up after this week's devastating tornado. All right, so our Abigail James is live just outside of Linwood this morning where that powerful EF4 tornado struck on Tuesday. You've been talking with the Cajun Navy. What are their plans to help people there, Abby? Yeah, Joe and Gina. Well, the Cajun Navy will deploy basically wherever there is a natural disaster. They will rescue storm victims, both people and animals. They'll chop down trees, basically whatever they need to do to help out. And joining me this morning is actually one of the members. His name is Brian Antisdell. You can come on over here. Now, he drove all the way from Michigan as soon as emergency personnel uh, called him to let him know that this was going on out here. And Brian, I followed you guys around yesterday. We were actually right here um, on this property and basically you showed up, you said, hey, what do you need done? And you were ready to do whatever they needed. Kind of tell me a little bit about, you know, what the Cajun Navy is prepared to do. Um, the Cajun Navy Foundation is prepared to do anything and everything. Um, our job is to come in and make the person um, feel like they have some help. They have hope and we do care. It's what we do every day. And um, I'll do your dishes if I need to just make you smile and, and just pick you up. That's what we do. Very good. And you uh, told me that you're meeting with the EOC today, so the Emergency Operations Center, to go over recovery efforts. Um, what do you have planned with them for this w for for this week, and how long do you plan to be here? Um, for this morning, we're going to meet with the EOC, the officials, and we're going to get um, a grid lockdown. We're going to go door to door and see the needs and assess for everybody. And then I'll reach out to my community, the, which is actually the nation, and they'll start sending in goods. I already got six pallets ready to go. Oh, very good. And uh, how long are you guys planning to stay here for? We're looking till Sunday, and then I've got a 30-man relief team to come in and, and clean all this up. Oh, wow. Massive so equipment, everything. There's more people coming in. Yes, ma'am. The, the community and the nation cares about this taste, this place. Yeah, absolutely. Well, everyone appreciates you guys being out here for sure. And um, like you said, they're going to be out here until Sunday, and they have the supplies um, that they uh, – they have a lot of supplies if they yes. need to bring in, in anything else. Now, when we came here into Linwood this morning, we noticed that there were actually um, multiple areas that had power. So it looks like power is starting to be restored out in this area already. Um, when we showed up on this street, as a matter of fact, this morning, there were tons of um, different trucks out here that were working on the power line. So a lot of people that are out here just working to bring this town back to normal again. For now, reporting live, Abigail James. KCTV 5 News. Yeah, really nice to see that help because they are going to need it. Thank you.